All right, here with Kalen Merriweather after a big night for him. Leads East Atchison into a district final after a win over Platte Valley. Uh, Kalen, you guys played this team three weeks ago, and it wasn't the result you guys wanted. Not the case tonight. Just your thoughts? Uh, when they beat us the first time, it just left a sour taste in our mouth, and we just want payback. So that's what we came out and did. Yeah, you know, describe to me the feeling when you got, you mentioned kind of a sour taste, but I know you guys had lofty goals coming into this year. Uh, to come short, did that kind of set you guys on the path that you've been on up to this point? Uh, yes, it most certainly has. Speak to your night. Uh, what was it that worked? Uh, I just saw that the linebacker was over-pursuing, so I just cut back and there would be a lane right there. Where do you feel from the start of the year to now you have grown the most as a runner? Uh, seeing the lanes mostly, I've really grown into that. What is it that makes this offense click? Uh, the O-line and the D-line, they're amazing guys. Uh, you guys, it was an 8-6 game at the half, kind of a physical, low-scoring affair. You put on 32 in the second half. Was there any sort of adjustments you guys made at halftime that kind of led to that? Uh, yeah, we made a few adjustments coming in back into the uh, from the half. Speak to the defense. Uh, obviously, to be able to contain them to 14 points, mean you're doing some things right. What was it that was clicking defensively? Uh, o line was just no. D line was just more physical tonight. It got back there, and the running back was always mine or one of the other guys. You guys are back in a district final. Uh, you've been there before. Uh, what does it mean for you guys to be one of the final eight standing? Uh, it's great right now. Uh, want to come back with some hardware though yeah what's it going to take i think it's going to be worth counting next week uh how do you guys try to approach that uh we're going to go into film on monday and we're going to discuss what we need to discuss and know what we have to do all right coach uh, i know the last time you guys played plow valley it was a little bit you know i'm sure a different feeling than tonight uh but just a dominant showing from your team especially in the second half uh what, were, what was kind of your takeaway uh, you know, it was really good for us to kind of weather weather the storm early. We didn't do a great job um, offensively. They did a hell of a job just keeping control and clock and, and um, kind of sustaining drives there in the first half. And, um, you know, I told our boys uh, kind of late in that second quarter, you kind of see our power game and stuff uh, start to open up a little bit. Kalen started to get a little lubed up. Um, so we kind of rode that there in the second half. And... You know the the three and four yard gains turned into five six seven, and you know it, after the last one, kind of put a sour taste in our mouth with kind of how we played and um, a lot of talk surrounding you know who was more physical and all that. So we kind of wanted to come out and and show what that looked like here in the second half, and it was, it was great. It was a, a heck of a job by the guys. Where do you feel the differences were from game one to game two? Our resolve was a lot better. Uh, game one, we jumped out to an early lead and kind of let it slip there slowly but surely and um this one you know we didn't have a lead until until third quarter and you know the boys didn't there was no head hanging there was no finger pointing um they just they believe and they stuck together and and you know just kept kept at it i think carter luke finished for over 100 yards but you know he never really got that big play that they've been known for this year what were you guys doing defensively um, you know, formationally, we, we try to put guys in spots, um, you know, that, that he was running in uh, and just to kind of shut the, their counter game and, and their kind of um, G power stuff. And, you know, uh, overall, we did a good job, popped a big one early. Um, but outside of that, a long, a long catch up the sideline, you know, his, his yards were tough physical yards, and that's what we wanted to make, you know. Just like our offense, if we're not getting big yards and, and people make you earn it, you know, there's more opportunity for mistakes and things like that. And um, our guys did a really job rallying today and tackling. Speak to Kalen's night. Uh, he really kind of caught fire there in the second half. Yeah, he's different this year. Uh, you know, this is the game that we've kind of – we kind of pointed to in the summer and, and kind of what he's training for and the weight he put on and just his mentality is different. Uh, you know, when he was touching the ball in the second half, it, it just looked different. Uh, you know, he was running through tackles and not coming off the field. Um, I And he's been doing it all year. He's, he's a heck of a great player, great kid. Um, you know, it's, it's fun to watch him go. You guys are back in a district final next week. Uh, looks like it's going to be against Worth County. Uh, how do you guys try to attack that? I know it's still kind of fresh. 
Uh, with them, you know, you got to be physical with them. They're huge up front. They have a really great running back, Reinhardt. Uh, the Gladstone kid has improved a ton as a passer on film, and you know they got a lot of weapons. And so you got to you got to meet the challenge up front with Reinhardt, and then you got to be good in the back end when they when they decide to pass it. And then, you know, offensively, we think we can put them in some spots to. Uh, you know, make them think a little more and not just be able to pin their ears back and go. But they're going to be really aggressive. And, um, you know, I told the boys in the post game, kind of hopefully third time's a charm. You know, it's our third one in a row, so hopefully we can go out and, and get one. Yeah, is that something coming in? It's maybe a little bit of a talking point that, hey, you know, you guys have been here before, so you know what to expect, uh, but, you know, to, to have a different outcome. Yeah, uh, it's it's been the talk every <laughs> Every day since the Stanbury game last year, you know, we had the ball on the one yard line and couldn't punch it in, uh, is getting back to that game. You know, I talked to him at the start of the playoffs. One of our goals was to be the one seed because we knew no matter what district we were in, it was going to be a tough district. Um, didn't get the one seed, but I said, you don't, you got to play like you're a one seed. And tonight we did. Um, and, you know, we go play Worth County, who's, who's the one seed in our district over there. And, you know, it's going to be a dogfight. And, you know, we got to we got to you know rise to the occasion and we've been there before um so you just got to go play